Hi everyone, welcome back. AI being the buzzword of the season. So in this video, we'll be looking at AI benchmark and huge thanks to UL, the people behind the 3D Mark benchmark. They've allowed me to use their AI benchmarking tool. And for this video, I'll be using PNY's range of RTX 40 series graphics card. Huge thanks to PNY Malaysia and their distributor, Fusion Tech Supply, for arranging these cards for me. So I'll be testing a 4060, 4060 Ti, 4070, 4070 Super, 4070 Ti Super, and a 4080 Super. And just this one with me over here. And the benchmark is simple. So on screen here, you see that this is the UL Proxion benchmark, of which I'll be using to test the AI capability of these cards. And in the options, I'm using the Stable Diffusion 1.5 option because this is the one that I can test through all as the minimum VRAM required is 8 gigs, which is just nice for a 4060 up to a 4080 Super over here. And yeah, if I was using other options, I'll be limited to only the ones with the 16 gigs VRAM. So I went with the one with the 8 gigs VRAM. So in this one, it will generate 16 images by batches of 4 with a 512 by 512 um, resolution image and uh, this is the benchmark result as you can see from the result it is expected the scores go up according to the graphic card or should i say the gpu on the stack and then the other numbers you see are the time taken to complete the whole benchmark and with that it's divided by the number of images which is 16 and then you get the scores so 4080 super here definitely compared to the rest that are below it will finish every will generate images faster therefore the time taken for the whole batch to be completed will be faster so pretty much that's it so the result is pretty much expected the higher graphics card you go the faster the images will be generated using stable diffusion that takes advantage of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX GPU. With that said, that's it for this video. Very simple one, just to share with you the UL Proxion Benchmark, which is a tool, much like 3 Mark, of which it uses stable diffusion and standardizes the test so it's easier. Because if you have ever installed stable diffusion, I know I did, and if there are many settings to go about, different people will have different uh, ideas on how how to set the thing so the, the output will be uh, varied so the results is difficult to compare so when you have a software like this it makes the comparison a lot easier well that is it for well that's it for this one thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next video do remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and bye bye